I'm not worried, it's a million miles away Yeah, I saw the news, happens every day some Can't cry, look alike, numb from what he's reading Wake me up, wake me up It's one of us that's screaming Save this house Save this house Save this house Save this house Alzheimer's disease is a fatal disease. It's a progressive disease and it is not uh, a normal part of aging. So it affects um, mood, it affects memory, it affects the person's ability to make uh, decisions for themselves um, and it is a devastating disease for everybody that's involved. It's often called the longest goodbye because it is. You know, to watch somebody um, slowly deteriorate essentially and lose the essence of who they are in front of you is, is the most heartbreaking thing. I can't think of anything worse. Uh, and there are about 43,000 people living in Toronto with a diagnosis of dementia and about 747,000 across Canada. The Alzheimer's Society provides programs and services to people with a diagnosis of dementia and their care partners. Uh, so we offer workshops, education services, counseling, uh, tours, um, lots of events throughout the year uh, just to provide support and to help improve the quality of life for people with dementia. So the project began, uh, it was directly inspired by a documentary called Alive Inside, which looks at um, how people in nursing homes who were not being visited were just disengaged um, and using music as a tool to just create some spontaneity and excitement uh, really just showed such a powerful um, and immediate response. By so, exciting or awakening those pathways, we have a gateway to stimulate and reach somebody who otherwise is unreachable. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Okay, so there's a, a tears of joy. We have over a hundred partnerships in Toronto right now of people using iPods at home and also in hospital or long-term care environments. Um, and the response has been just great. Family members feel more um, involved in the care part, the care process as well, because they are able to help select the music and they're able to help the individual use the iPod. The music for Memory Project here in Toronto has taken off. Uh, you know, our, the demand has gone um, from, you know, 10 or 20 people a month to well over 150 to 200 people a month that are looking to participate in this program. A key piece for us is being able to provide an iPod to everybody who needs one. Do you recall what made us fall? Was the noise at all? Oh, do you recall? Oh, do you recall? What made us fall? Was the noise at all? Oh, do you recall? Oh. This concert is so important. Uh, in many ways, it's the most exciting thing that has happened for the project uh, in terms of bringing awareness. But I think it's such an excellent opportunity for people to come out and to experience great music um, with great artists for a great cause. So we have John Mann, Molly Johnson, Royal Wood, Andy Mays, and Josh Finlayson from Sky Diggers. You'll also see Tom Wilson, Kevin Kane, and many surprise guests. hope that uh, people will come out and provide tons of support um, for this amazing program and we hope that we have end up with more iPods and we know what to do with them. Okay, so the concert is April 29th at the Horseshoe, starts at 8.30, $25 to get in, bring an iPod shuffle with you and you'll receive a limited edition poster as well. Save this house, party's gotta end, welcome at Swan Out. Roof will never mend. Furniture's on fire. House is a disgrace. Someone change your locks before we trash this place. See this house.